Hello and kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us for our Wednesday weather update for November the 23rd and the spring blast in New Zealand. It carries on. In fact, it's going to be with us right through until the weekend. So let's take a look at the animated wind map. Now, today we've put the energy uh, on there. So if you're a power company producing power, uh, this is a very interesting map because it shows in the bright shaded areas where the most amount of wind energy is. And so windiest weather is with that cold front that came through yesterday with the th thunderstorms and the downpours across the western side of both main islands, including the vehicle on the west coast that got struck by lightning and caught on fire. There's a really interesting story in the Herald about that one. Uh, and then we've got the second uh, burst of, of squalls and thunderstorms just leaving Tasmania and about to move into the New Zealand area overnight tonight and into Thursday. So let's take a look at that. Here is the thunderstorm map courtesy of Weatherwatch and IBM and our high res uh, localized lightning data. So you can see that first wave of thunderstorms that came through yesterday. And here comes the next surge uh, coming through, as I say, overnight tonight and through Thursday. More squalls, more isolated hail showers and the odd thunderstorm. It is hit and miss. It's a little bit easier to look at it and go, oh, that's all coming in for the whole West Coast. But if you zoom right on in, each thunderstorm is pretty much its own individual shower, which means there's plenty of space in between each one of these thunderstorms where there isn't thunder. It's just the usual showers or maybe still sunny spells. So we've got a lot of weather but variety coming through. Elsewhere, pretty quiet. We've got a few thunderstorms around Perth though and a couple up here in the tropics of Australia, the tropical side. And really pretty quiet through the tropical islands. A couple of thunderstorms up here though around Samoa. All right, let's have a look at the wind coming through today. Now, if you don't really um, can't really read this map very well, we do have wind maps on our website. So the wind and rain maps we show you here, you can find alternatives on our website. But basically what you're seeing is right across the North Island, you're in that orange uh, shaded area. So that's 50 to 80 kilometre an hour winds. That's definitely getting up around gale force. With the worst winds in the hills and ranges around central Hawke's Bay. Pretty blustery through the mountains of the South Island, but nothing too major. And calmest weather will be around Banks Peninsula and Otago Peninsula, which we don't often say in spring, but those will be the calmest places over the next day or so. By the way, this wind map is for today, uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon, Wednesday. And we've got some rain in here too. This is for the next two days of rainfall. Most of it's on the western side of both islands, around that 50 millimeter mark, which isn't too problematic. And the blue you see on the east, that's at the very bottom of the scale, just a couple of spits, uh, maybe making it over the hills otherwise mostly dry for those of you in the eastern areas. And in Australia, most of the rain up here around Broome, we're talking about 60, 70, 80 millimetres coming through, which is a lot for Western Australia. And as we said yesterday, it spreads down to Alice Springs. And on the other side around Queensland, we've got some rain mostly around Mackay, only about 30 millimetres. Elsewhere, just a few showers. Let's take a look at the forecast now. So here we are on Thursday, and in comes that next surge of gale force westerlies and squally showers some with hail, some with thunder, along that western side of both main islands. The blue line there, that indicates air thickness. It's measuring the fact that we've actually got a, a pretty sizable cold change coming through, and that's going to take a bit of a bite out of the uh, atmosphere as it does so. So there's definitely a temperature drop coming on Thursday for the lower South Island, Southland and Otago. Uh, over in Australia, mostly settled. We've got this big high pressure zone coming in and just a few showers around the edges of it and still a little bit windy around Tasmania. On Friday, that high in Australia doesn't move a lot further towards New Zealand and the windy weather carries on. And between that high in Tasmania and this low in the Southern Ocean, it produces a stormy southerly. Now, yes, there is a bit of a polar side to it. I was asked this on YouTube the other day, uh, is there a polar southerly coming in? The polar portion, I like saying that, polar portion, uh, is coming up here around the uh, Auckland Islands and the islands south of New Zealand, uh, south of the mainland I should say. It's going to come up and just brush maybe some parts of Southland over the weekend. The temperatures certainly do drop as we go into the weekend, but nothing too serious in there, but definitely colder around the country as we go through here on uh, Friday. Now, as we go into the weekend, Saturday sees those southerlies in the south still showery and still a bit wintry down in Southland and Otago. Further north though, 
not so problematic just the usual showers coming through a lot of people are asking about the weather here on saturday around auckland we've got this low pressure zone trying to move in and at some point it will start to rain probably and we'll get those winds coming in but the timing is still not locked in so just keep an eye on the ruralweather.co.nz uh, site. It's probably the best if you're trying to really lock in your plans this Saturday around New Zealand. Now by Sunday, in comes low pressure. So we've got wet weather at some point around Saturday or Sunday. And we'll be seeing that low coming through here with a bit of wind and rain. High pressure to the north. And Australia is still fairly settled, just a few uh, downpours here and there. The, the main change in Australia really on Sunday is this southwest change coming back. To Victoria, uh, South Australia and Tasmania. Nothing major but just a sign again that it's still not perfectly settled just yet. And by Monday next week a few showers left around the North Island but mostly clearing as that system moves away. So Monday might be a bit of a breather day before the next cold front comes in and this is it here. The next cold front arrives Monday night in the South Island and also comes in and affects parts of New South Wales and Sydney with a little bit of rain at the same time across Monday. Uh, this is around late Monday morning. So around Monday itself, we've got that front just brushing the coastal parts of New South Wales and making it inland a little bit, but you won't be seeing very big totals down there. So that is the forecast through until Monday. Still a lot going on. I'll be back tomorrow with your next update. We'll see you then.